Hello and welcome to Bruce Lee Town or otherwise known as Rougie Town. Today's journey I shall be travelling on the Mersey Rail Network to visit three railway stations in Merseyside which are Fasakari, Kirkby, Rice Lane and also today I'll be riding on the Class 507 and the Class 508 electric multiple units because these will be withdrawn to when the new Class 777 train arrives onto the network but they're still not in service yet it's because of this pandemic really that's delaying the introduction. So please come on board with me as we venture onto the Mersey Rail Network today. Hello there, Simon Trains here. Or some people I call him Simon Trains. Hi Cal. Go on, get off. Or some people I call me Simon Trains. I'm a rail enthusiast and if you like trains like I do, and if you like visiting different railway stations like I do, this is the channel to be. When I look at different railway stations and look at different trains, this is Simon Trains Railway Journeys. And I welcome you to this service. So I now made it to Rouge Trent Valley Railway Station. Now I'm here to change trains across the 652 from Rouge Town, which is now terminated here. That will be leaving here at 722 to form the Trainsburg International. But I'm here to wait for the 0709 London Northwestern Railway Service to crew because I'm going to be changing it to Stafford so we can catch a train to Liverpool from Stafford. So the 709 should be arriving now, take me to Stafford. As we watch London Northwestern Railway Class 350 to 0, 350 253 departing Stafford Station, we think Calvin's our first problem of the day. So I'm now in the waiting room at Stafford and I'm having counted the first problem of the day and we're not even left Staffordshire. I'm supposed to catch the 0739 to Liverpool Live Street from Stafford, but unfortunately the train is running I think about 11 minutes late at the moment. Because apparently there's a train that's, I think, broken down in front of the train that's I'm going to catch. That's what they said over the tannoy anyway. So it's really about them, it's late. It could be a bit later, so it could affect me getting to Liverpool Live Street, to be honest. But hopefully, shove things back by 20 minutes, should be fine. Because coming up in part two, when I leave Sandhills, I actually got about an hour to kill before my train back to Stafford. So I've got that hour spare in case anything like this goes ha wrong or anything bad happens. So I could just shove things back 20 minutes or even 30 minutes or an hour. So we should be on our way to Liverpool very soon. So I've just come out of the station a bit because to be honest, I actually went to Tesco to get some food because uh, this problem is now getting worse to be honest. And this is what I'm going to update you on now. The 0739, apparently it was halted at Wolverhampton because there was a train fault in front of the train that was supposed to catch, is the train that's faulty. Door fault. And it's now being cancelled. Now it's doing empty stock movement. So I can't get to 739. However, though, they have advised me to speak to the conductor on the 0824 Banty West Coast service 
before I board the train to see if I'm allowed to board that one. If not, then it's the 8.30 that I to Liverpool Live Street that I've got to catch, so I have lost that hour that I had spare. So it's all fun to get to Liverpool, but we'll see how we get there. We're going to get there eventually. I promise you that we're going to get there eventually, but how to get there, though, is the question. But you just love it when trains get cancelled because then you have to replan everything. So go back to the station now to see what we're going to do. So the answer is no. To be fair though, I did ask him because I was actually down the other end of the station. He was like a bit up here. And by the time I started to walk up to approach him, the baton went up for the train to depart. So I thought, they get it. So now I'm waiting for the 0838 London Northwestern Railway Service to Liverpool Live Street. But that's running three minutes late as well. So I will have to replay it at a figure station where I have to go. But I'll update that towards the end of this video because I am splitting this up into two parts. So I'm going to get the 0838, they said 39 there, but it's 0838 to Liverpool Live Street. It's all your fault, Carol, we're still stuck at Stafford. It will be the 0842 to 90 West Coast and Liverpool Lime Street. This train is formed of eight coaches. Please note that So we passed crew LNWR and to be honest there's absolutely nothing there apart from that Mark III coach that says Rail Charter Services. We're now passing crew Heritage Centre. We're now passing the former Manchester Metrolink T68 tram, Class 43 HST 43108 and we're also passing one of their star exhibits, the Class 370 also known as the APT. Hey Carol, what's the first station after Craven Arms on the Heart of Wales line? I'm not talking to you, you choose me of the train being cancelled. We're now passing through Edge Hill Station, we're not far from Liverpool Live Street now. But unfortunately we're going through the Live Street tunnels in a second. But unfortunately, if you watch a fan of G Love's trains, She's named this tunnel Kylie's Crack. Why G loves trains? Why? <laughs> Why? So we're now in Kylie's Crack. Next stop, Liverpool Live Street.
didn't realise the sun was going to be out today, but it's a beautiful day indeed. And we're also at this location an hour later than planned, but later on the blog will explain that station will have to go. But that was going to come up towards the end of the blog. But anyway, this is Fal Zachary Station on the Mersey Rail Network, and it's good to be on the Mersey Rail Network again. This is a Mersey Rail Station that has two platforms. And to be honest, the best view to film trains at Fal Zachary is actually at the north end heading towards Kirkby because at the bottom end there is actually a tunnel there but we're on platform one at the moment which is probably the better out of the two to be honest we're here for an hour to fill trades at Fal Zachary and then I'm going to move on to Kirkby which will be the next location but I'll explain that when we're about to leave Fal Zachary but now we're going to do the station history of Fal Zachary because there's one intriguing thing that I have found out about this station and this is the reason why I came to it because originally this station was named Simon's Wood. They named the station after me and Wood. But unfortunately, they renamed it. I don't know why they renamed it. They should have kept it as Simon's Wood. It's not at my house. Hey, no. Uh, hey, no. I can't. I can't. What's going on here? But anyway, here's the station's history. And then we filled some PEP units of 507s and 508s on the Merseyrail network. We now move on to the station's history of Zachary, opened by the Lancashire and Yorkshire Railway on the 20th of November 1848, but it was named Simon's Wood. In 1850 they changed the name from Simon's Wood to Aintree, and in March 1860 they renamed the station to Zachary to avoid confusion with Aintree Station on the Ormskirt branch line. So we're still at Fal Zachary and we have bumped into somebody. Say hello to Gilos Trains. You right there? Was that a hello? Hiya. Hi. Hello. How was Kylie's crack? It was slow. Which is the question I want to ask you. Why did you name the Live Street Tunnels Kylie's crack? Because it stinks around here. Worse than his ass. <laughs> you heard it from her. But anyway, we actually knew we were going to be in the area because I did say to G Love's Trains I was going to be in the Merseyrail network and I knew she was going to be here but we did not know we were going to bump into each other. No, I mean I thought we would because this station, you've done the station history already. Yes. It used to be called Cyber Trades is Wood. How does it feel? How do you fancy that? How does it feel? How does it feel to be in Simon's Wood? I'm touching Cyber's Wood. But well, no, it's nice to bump into you again. Why, thank you. Nice to bump into you. Cyber Trades, or is it Carol? No, this is Cyber Trades. Carol, I think, sulking somewhere. Oh, we want Carol! We want Carol! Anyway, nice to bump into you again. There's no 350 to zeros running on it. No. There's not. Alright. No worries. I'll be off. Bye bye. Bye bye. bye. Anyway, let's carry on filming some more trains. So the tide's nearly up at Fal Zachary and it has been a pleasure to see G-Love's trains again and to be honest though it was actually her idea for, for me to come into Fal Zachary because she actually uh, messaged me one day and she said you know this station was called Simon's Wood and as soon as I heard about that it's like right definitely coming here and it's not been disappointing actually it's been a nice railway station indeed to film the units at and it's always been a pleasure of the party with Gilo's trains when she's around but to be honest though we're moving to Kirkby and I think the party's going to end when we get there because something serious that happened last month happened there we're going to be talking about that when we're at Kirkby we're not going to talk it fully we're just briefly going to talk about it so we're going to fill the train now to take us to Kirkby which is the end of the line on the Kirkby branch
So we've reached the end of the line of the Kirkby branch at Kirkby. Now Kirkby station is quite unusual because it's actually got two terminus platforms here. But this is the branch for the Merseybell here. And if I go like this with the click finger. And right here is the northern platforms that take on to Wigan Wargate and on towards Manchester. So it is a station with two terminus platforms which is unique really. I think Orbs Kirk, no, Orbs Kirk is the other one as well. But behind me here also um, an incident happened here last month on the 13th of March 2021 when a Mersey Rail unit 507006 hit the buffers down there at 42 miles an hour. You just see where that Mersey Rail unit is. That's the Mersey Rail platform there. It hit the buffers down here. It actually came through the bridge here and landed on the sides of this embankment here. And this was the 635 that terminated here. And you could just see, you could see mangled buffer stops here. And you can see the bricks on the other side of the platform because I think that's the other station because Kirkby actually used to be a through, through platform to Wigan. And you can just see like the bricks like a bit taken off and all that. So it was really tragic to see. But luckily the drive was always shaken up and there was no, there was injuries but there was no fatalities. Because a fatality on the railways these days is really sad indeed. But luckily there was no fatalities. Because it was during the uh, third lockdown as well. Which by the way we actually have come out of a lockdown. Restrictions have eased a bit so that's why I'm venturing into the Merseyside network. So we're going to do the station history now at Kirkby. Or is it Kirby? That's the question to ask. I think it's Kirkby to be honest. And then... We're going to fill some more Merseyrail units and Northern units at this station. Kirkby Station was built in 1848 as part of the Liverpool and Bury Railway, but later came part of the Lancashire and Yorkshire Railway with trains from Liverpool Exchange Station to Bury Nosey Street. The station was listed for closure, the Beach reported off 1963, but was rejected in December 1967. In 1969, the station became part of the Merseyside Passenger Transport Executive Rail Network. In 1970, rationalisation started as the station was reduced to single track and rebuilt in 1977, and the line was also electrified from Kirkby towards Liverpool. Also in 1977, the station became a terminus for trains from Wigan and for trains from Liverpool when end of through running ceased. Also at Kirkby Station, it's actually got some lovely regional railway signage here, which still exists. Lovely to see. It has really been all right at Kirkby to be honest and we had no problems filming here we filmed the Northern Rail DMUs I think the many 150s that serve this line now not paces anymore and we did get some Mersey Rail class 507s and class 508 DMUs now first of all I want to say a special thanks to G Loves Trades who has popped on this blog and secondly I'm actually going to be terminating this blog early at Kirkby get the pun there, terminate early. <laughs> because with this morning's fiasco, I think it's taken a bit of the blog and I was actually gonna put Rice Lane in this blog, but unfortunately I had to take Walton Station out because the plan was to go to Rice Lane, end it at Rice Lane this blog, and I was gonna start at Rice Lane and do Walton,
Kirkdale and Sandhills. But unfortunately, had to take a station out. So join us this Thursday, as I mentioned, to join with these stations that I'll be visiting in the next vlog. Race Lane, Kirkdale, Sandhills. So it is about time to end this now, so feel free to give this a uh, thumbs up if you like the content. Feel free to subscribe to the Simon Trace YouTube channel if you like the Simon Trace Railway Journeys. And hopefully leave a comment down below. I'll be looking forward to hearing your comments because I do read them and I do like replying to them actually. Some of them can be funny. And I think there's going to be a lot of comments about um, how I mistreated the cow. I think she's still sulking somewhere to be honest. So thank you for watching this Simon Trace Railway Journey. I will see you Thursday for the return journey from Kirkby back to Rougie Town and hopefully there's no slip ups. So thank you for watching, stay safe and see you Thursday. here is Kirkdale Depot and there is Mersey Rail Class 777s in Kirkdale Depot which I'll show you quickly now.